Hello, maestros, and welcome. This episode, I'll be showing you how to automatically import your photos into Lightroom. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this macro so you have an understanding of what's happening. I hit F10 to activate it, and then I have a chance to rename the client name or the project name. I'm just set it as so. Then it's going to duplicate my Lightroom template folder, and then it's going to open that Lightroom file. Once it's open, it's going to open up the import window, set the source, navigate to your drive, sets the destination, navigates to your raw folder, and then you can apply additional processing if necessary and choose the photos that you want to import, hit import, and you're good to go. So let's go back into Keyboard Maestro and I'm going to show you what you need to update in order to get this macro to work on your system. The first is to update the volume triggers here because you might not have a drive named Katana and you might have multiple drives so you might need to add more mounted volume triggers for each of your drives. Next you'll need to update the these four actions here that target to the template folder. If you don't have a template folder you will need to create one in order for this macro to work and it's just a little basic folder here with some more folders that uh, that contain your Lightroom template. All right, I'm going to take you through these uh, these first few actions here because these are the, probably the most difficult part to update. So I'm going to go ahead and make a nice little temp one here to show you how to make it. First thing is this little prompt here. You won't need to update it, but as I thought it would be nice to just go through it. Make a nice little client variable and then call it date and then insert the token because Cuba Maestro can automatically insert the date for you and then update these little abbreviations here and if you don't know what these stand for I can include a little link so that you can format the date just the way you like. Alright so next is the duplicating part and that's uh, you want to search for files and all your actions and you will find a nice little duplicate a file action. Move this over here so that we can make some adjustments. So make sure this is selected and then drag and drop. Very nice. Let's go ahead and try that. Our folder has now been duplicated. Next we want to rename this Lightroom file here. So go and move and rename. Click drag and drop. Copy and paste rename that little part right here. And we want to rename that. We want to insert the variables we have just created, and that's insert token variable. First one is the date. Then after the date, we have an underscore. I like to put an underscore there. And then insert variable. Our client, the client here. Very nice. Give that a try. And that has been updated. Next is our parent folder. Same process, click, drag, and drop, copy, and paste. Since we already have that little, little variable string here, the little code that we need, we just go copy, select that to rename, and paste. Give that a try, very nice. Next step is to open up our Lightroom file. So we're gonna open a file, double click, drag, and and we're going to rename the date and client here so that it updates depending on our variables. And then let's go ahead and select uh, the second one here. Very nice. Paste it in. Give it a try. So that is how you update those first few actions. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and go back to our macro. So you'll need to update these four. After you've done that, you will then need to go into your set source action here, and then you will need to you well you might need to update the first click. So when you go in here, the first click to set the source, you might need to update that, but I doubt that you will. And then you might actually need to update the number of arrow down keystrokes because the other source might be the fifth menu item as opposed to being the fourth menu item. All right, so that might be needed to be changed to a five. And then next, you will need to update the path to your CF card or drives. And you might need to include a if-then condition. So let's go if-then. 
So you want an if then action here. You might need to include or to make a if then action if you have multiple drives. So it'll insert different it'll insert different paths depending on what is currently connected. So you would drag that into the first little slot there, add a new condition, and it would be a mounted volume condition. And then you would not type in your volume. You see now, right now, it's currently true. So it's true. It's going to activate uh, the first action. And if it's false, then it will do nothing. So then you want to copy this and then paste it. So you could have multiple drives. And then rename this and set the path as necessary. And same process. You just delete this and drag and drop. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. All right. So that's the source. And then you do the same thing. For your destination, you go in here, you might need to update this, might need to update this, and you will need to update this. This is the path to the raw folder, because that's where I like to put all my photos when I import. And you can change it as you so please. All right, so that is pretty much it. So that's how you automatically import your photos into Lightroom. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.